Hi everyone, this is Kelt here. So, Harry and Meghan appeared at one of their last engagements in the UK before they stepped down as senior royals. This was the Endeavour Fund Awards. These awards are given to members of the armed forces. This was at Mansion House in central London. Apparently, Meghan stayed in a hotel, the Goring Hotel, which is closest to Buckingham Palace. It's strange that she wasn't staying in one of the palaces. They both looked reasonably happy and Meghan seemed to be very bright and in her element. Uh, A lot of people surprised to even see her in the country, let alone looking so confident and, and animated. A few things happened during the during the event. One man got down on one knee and proposed to his girlfriend. Um, Harry and Meghan looked very touched by this. And um, yeah, it all seemed to go reasonably well. The There was a booing by one person. There were a lot of cheers for Meghan and Harry, but there was one person who booed. I don't know how many booed, but there was definitely one who was heard booing. And um, in general, it looks to everyone as if it was a success. But some people were saying that Harry was still acting subservient in in her presence. And a short video clip showing this, it could be read either way. It could be he's graciously letting her go first, or he could be totally too afraid to not let her go first because he'll get told off afterwards. Or he could be just shaking off her arm on him because he doesn't want her stroking his back. So besides besides the boo that people heard, they also heard some guys singing Come On Harry to the tune of Come On Eileen. Comments were made about the guy at the hotel, a concierge who was holding an umbrella over Meghan, looked as if he was more interested in keep, keeping himself dry and the expression was absolutely classic and reminds us of another person who who had this, a similar look on his face. And it's being asked, why do people look like this when they're around Megan? She has this effect where people are either absolutely in awe or they are looking totally traumatised. Also, people commenting on the stare that Megan gave, very similar to some other looks she's given to people at other times, which I'll put here. Her eye makeup seemed to be migrating across her face, so who knows what was going on there. Some people were saying, please send this picture to the makeup artist and ask him if he's trolling her. Doesn't make her makeup artist look good, does it? And then there's another picture of Prince Harry getting a lift from Lewis Hamilton to the Silverstone event, and he looks a lot different when he's not with Meghan. He looks a lot more relaxed. He was just looking very strange when he was with Meghan. And one photo of them both under an umbrella in the rain was a great photo. Whether it was staged or not, whether they genuinely feel that towards each other, who knows? She also goes to sign first in the book, asking Harry if he wants to go first, but knowing full well that he would let her go first because he would be afraid of the repercussions if he didn't. And then apparently the pen was not working properly. And she struggled to do her usual flamboyant calligraphy. And made a joke of it and then let Harry sign. So was the pen a setup? I wonder. I wonder if they purposely put that there so she would struggle with her her signature. Thanks for watching this and I'll see you in the next one. Come on over to Celt Creates on YouTube if you haven't already. Bye.